truthful last video. Not necessarily not truthful or lying. I just didn't tell the complete truth. So I didn't. So my intro wasn't like, or at least for the intro for my car review, it wasn't how I wanted it to be because I couldn't shoot uh, some rolling shots or B-roll because my car is actually, um, how do I say this? Uh, the engine might be blown. And I say this because I drove it home from Fayetteville a couple of weeks ago and I uh, didn't really know that it was kind of bad because it was running low in oil. I usually have uh, indication that it's running low in oil because it makes the lifter tick noise. So I was like, okay, it should be good if I, when it got some oil, let it sit, put oil in it. And the car was pretty much sitting for a while because I don't really drive anywhere. But I noticed that there was a different noise and that the noise didn't exactly go away. So I thought maybe if I get some more oil, so I did that, got two more quarts, and then I also got some um, engine repair. I forgot the exact brand name, but it pretty much, you pour it in with the oil and it helps uh, repair and thicken up the oil pretty much. It's like a stabilizer, I guess, but that didn't help. So I thought maybe um, it just takes some getting used to. And no, it didn't at all. It would actually um, shut off a lot for whatever reason. And that's like something that's completely new to me. So <clears throat> I didn't know what, how to um, fix that. And then it made a different type of ticking noise that I've never heard before. So I was looking stuff up and then looking around and pretty much my diagnosis from everything that I was able to gather was rod knock which is like the worst thing that can happen at this point to my car unless it exploded of course but pretty much it's this it's it's not good <laughs> and sorry if my voice sounds weird I'm kind of sick right now but I diagnosed rod knock because I know what lifter knock is and that's what my car usually made if it was running low on oil and they're two different sounds um, so I was thinking that if it was just short on oil that's all it needed but it's pretty much already succumbed to the damages from what it's already happened so that's why I was able to um, say that it's pretty much blown at this point because I don't have an engine and I'm kind of regretting not getting that engine that I was looking at before. You guys seen it in my other vlogs, uh, the one in the junkyard. It only had 100,000 miles on it. I really should have got that one, but um, I just didn't have the necessary supplies for it. So. I'm pro you're probably wondering what am I driving right now well I'm driving my dad's BMW and uh, I'm probably about to go into it and go check on my car so I'll take you along all right so, <clears throat> so I'm at the parking lot where my car is because this is about the best parking I could get for the type of pass that I have so I've been sitting here for a couple of days now because, like I said, I, I do not feel right driving it since it pretty much makes the noise. But I am going to start it and see if I can get the noise to come up on camera. Actually, I'm going to go back to my apartment and get my key for the car. Since I forgot that I took it off of my little keychain. So I have to go back and go get it. Okay, so I'm back with my key now. And we're going to try to see if I can get the sound to, um, I, I, don't, I guess, uh, if it will make the sound this time. It should because it's made it every other time before, but something might be different this time, so I don't know. I miss this car so much. That's 
here 24 7. It's just that I can't drive it. So, where's the thing? No lights. But I guess that's something you can't really um, put a check engine light on since it's not something that would throw a code. But I'm not 100% sure. Of course, right now it sounds fine, but if I was to give it some gas, it might show up. So I'm gonna try to see if I can recreate it. That didn't work, so I'm gonna give it some time to warm up and see what happens. I don't know if it was able to pick it up, but I heard it myself and it sucks to hear every single time, but yeah, that's pretty much the problem that that happened. If I was to drive it now, it would probably come up even more, but I don't want to leave my dad's car because I have to, um, I don't have a pass on it, so I don't want them to try to ticket it if I'm gone. So that's pretty much it for what I'm going to do in here. But like I had so many more things planned to do before the well, I, you can't really plan on this happening. But like I installed a new shift boot, kind of sorta. I made it. So even though there's some stuff I gotta fix, but yeah, I had that. Then I had um, planned to put a new like face on this, pretty much. That um, pretty much separates it into like a two bin thing but that doesn't work because you know my car is damaged or it has rod knock so I don't know what it's left for it but um I'll get back with you guys in a little bit I forgot I do need to get my tools and my jack out because I'm gonna have to change my dad's oil so I'm gonna get that while I can but this is the thing that was talking about uh, that goes right there and pretty much the uh, radio goes in this part and this one was supposed to be a cubby I was gonna buy a cubby for it just so I can finally have that fixed up but you know things don't work out like you planned so uh, we'll see what I can do in the future hopefully I will be able to get an engine because I really don't want to call it quits on my car Nobody really does, but especially me, because as you've been with me the whole time, I've been trying to restore this as much as I can. Uh, I hate to see it like that. Knowing that I'm in another car driving my car, I hate it, but I'm thankful that my dad was, you know, generous enough to lend me his car. Since we have other cars, he let me drive this, which I'm very thankful for because I, while I didn't need a car, it was just good to have something that I could drive in case I did need to go somewhere. And I didn't want to risk messing up my car even more because uh, just the sound when I was hearing it while I was driving was so bad. It like it was cringy, and I did not like it at all. So I'm stuck <coughs> between buying a whole new motor or just fixing whatever is wrong with mine but the thing with that is there's no real way for me to be able to tell because I do not have the special tools to do so so that's kind of the predicament I'm in I don't know 
So that's pretty much it for this video. It's just a little update and pretty much explain the situation that I'm in. Um, not sure exactly what I'm gonna be, do be doing, but I will keep you guys updated. So it's pretty much it. Um, enjoy the video, like and subscribe, and share to your friends. Whatever you don't have to, but yeah, catch you guys later.